I use bamboo toilet paper because it's, it doesn't have bleach on it, you know, because the bleach is carcinogenic and there's cancer history in my family. So I don't want to catch cancer in the booty, right? Yeah, we don't want butt cancer. Oh my God, mm. I can't imagine. Yeah, no, it exists. Yeah. Did you know that? There's booty cancer. There's booty cancer. That's what they call it, booty cancer. Well, that's the medical term. I love that you are attaching to what I was saying in the beginning when you were not here because you were late, but we're not going to let that go. We're going to completely <laughs> let that go. Yes, not really. Yeah, but just anyway. Like, just like we let your personality go sometimes. Forget yes. Forget. Yes. No, I never forget. I'm like, uh, they say elephants never forget. I'm going to grow like a little trompa, like an elephant pretty soon. Hmm. Because I don't forget. I don't forget. But that's okay. I forgive you. But I don't forget. But I anyway. love you and I don't forget either. Oh, you don't forget either? No, of course not, sweetheart. Oh, we're so nice on when we're live. I like this. We should go live all the time. Oh, wait. We already do. We have a mockumentary. Ah. <laughs> oh, yes. That's right. We're stars. We have our award-winning mockumentary. If you haven't seen all the episodes and seasons, Make sure you subscribe to those fan sites, honey, because that's the only place that has them all, minus season one of episode two with our Dr. Nickabakis. Absolutely. And there I put our website, our Patreon. If you want to subscribe to our Patreon, we have lots of content there, right? Because our cousins are so nice. They They're let us so use. Nice. Yeah, very nice. I love them. Philanthropists. They give back, you know, they, they try to support the community. Yeah. Full-time entertainers and entrepreneurs. I relate. I love it. I love it. And you know what? Especially since our husbands left us for other women, the, the women within themselves, I think they feel bad for us because we have to start over. Where, where was the most embarrassing place you have ever farted? That is a fantastic uh, question. Because nobody talks about the farting, right? Yeah, nobody's honest about farts. Like once you grow up, you're done. When you're a kid, you have competitions on who can fart the most. I know, not anymore. Remember when we did that when we were kids? Yep, we had the farting chart with the little beads and we would see whose beads got the most at the end of the day. Definitely. You, you got a lot of beads. <laughs> you got a lot of beads too, honey. I don't know about that. I think you won because I'm no, a little yeah. Now, I'm, a little, I'm a little bit more ladylike, you know. Before you went vegan, you were getting a lot of beads, okay? The vegan thing was good for your stomach. You had to mention that? You really oh. did? Yeah, why not? It's true. You went vegan. You're healthier now. You're better than everyone because you don't eat meat, blah, blah, blah. But there was a time that you did. And when you did, those farts were winning the farting contest. That's all I'm saying. You had more beads on the fart chart a few times. Own up to it, Consuelo. This is, you see, this is one of the reasons why I can't date because you out me like that. Like I was the fart winner. Oh. I think mine wins as always um, because, you know, on a date, it's like he never called me back. Oh, yeah. You, you're you very ballsy for farting in front of the day. I would have been like, excuse me, and gone to the bathroom and farted in the bathroom and just the acted movie, like I was catching up lipstick. The movie was fantastic. I could not. I'd rather lose him than miss the movie. Thing, you're so smart, Gassi Marisa. Thank you, Consuelo. Mi prima okay. es muy inteligente. She's very smart. Yes. Even though she's late a lot, but that's okay. We love her. <laughs> yes, and we love you even though you're judgy and have to be right about everything. Okay. I am not judgy and I don't have to be right because I am right. I learned that. Even though a man can be very handsome, very intimate, very provider, appear like a good husband, he might want to be the wife and he will take your underwear. Wow. Wow. I learned that having a penis doesn't mean you're a man. My roommate, actually, this is really incredible. It was a man and I caught him peeing in the sink, in the kitchen sink. I am not joking. I believe you. Men are disgusting. My cousin was drunk and peed on a television once. Our cousin Jonathan. Yeah. My ex is that he stole my good shoes. Okay. Not, not the Manolo Blahniks. The Milano Blahniks, the Gucci's. Okay, the little Dior, vintage Dior pumps. Honey, everything. He took everything. 
the he stole of my fajas oh god yeah all my all my fajas you know yeah, you've been going to get the surgery that's right because yeah exactly exactly but i'm like I don't, recovery i know but then i don't have any surgery and the roles are there oh my god that's like the third time we kind of agree to swallow this is kind of scary i don't know what's happening to us do you think it has to do with spooky season oh it's halloween so it's in reverse instead of disagreeing we're agreeing and that's spooky that's spooky. you're so smart i love that marisa right on right on that's okay so the tips smart. on productivity and health okay on productivity i would say get your ass to work like kim kardashian right said um but you know whom her big ass to work really she works hard i don't know but anyway they do her makeup so how hard does she work i i did her makeup once i mean i was holding the makeup tray but still you know oh, you Kim Kardashian's makeup. well i was holding the tray you know the makeup tray you know that was we have a big tray and i called it so the makeup artist could do you know i was the makeup artist oh, the same two. day that i went to lunch with uh barack obama are you mocking me? 